asbestos fibres are very carcinogenic, so once they get inhaled, the body finds it very difficult to clear the fibres from the lung and also from the pleura where their fibres track down to the outer parts of the lung. This results in chronic inflammation and over time, frequently over many years and decades, this results in genetic damage to the, the pleural cells, the, what we call the mesothelial, the mesothelial cells, and this results in mutations and the development of mesothelioma. Very frequently patients will only complain of symptoms at the time when the disease becomes very advanced and that's uh, due to several factors but the most likely is that the lung has a very large reserve. So the lung can actually accommodate uh, a significant amount of buildup of, of inflammation and also fluid buildup which is a very common way of presenting with fluid on the lung uh, before the patient actually uh, reports feeling breathless. Um, very often the disease occurs on, on one, one side of the lung and of course the other lung can often compensate and this is apparent for example when patients have a lung removed they can function very well on one lung. Of course it would be much uh, easier if we had a test that could reliably pick up mesothelioma in its very early stages and many people around the world are working on such a blood test, for example. There are crude tests available at the moment, uh, but I think in, in the next 10 years or so, we may have a blood test that will pick up the early signs of mesothelioma, and then this will lead to earlier intervention and hopefully improved outcomes for our patients who are currently presenting with a very advanced disease. One form of staging is whether it's resectable or, or non-resectable, so whether the surgeon can go in and can strip away the mesothelioma. So in terms of treatment, um, defining whether this is a surgically disease that can be surgically uh, treated or, or not. If the mesothelioma is, is mainly on the outside of the lung, then it's, it's usually um, easier to remove that disease. However, the more the disease encroaches into the central structures, so for example near the heart or deep within the, the blood vessels, then it's much harder to, to strip away that disease without causing damage uh, to the blood vessels. The median survival without treatment is 9 to 12 months and some patients with the particularly aggressive forms of mesothelioma uh, known as sarcomatoid and um, biphasic, those patients can actually have a, an even shorter survival. The epithelioid group can be very hard to predict. Um, some of those patients, in fact our longest at Barts is currently um, surviving with disease 15 years, um, having had chemotherapy uh, 15 years ago for his mesothelioma. So, you know, we have median statistics, but actually some patients can do much, much better, often going many years with the disease. Currently, there are few, very few clinical trials in relapsed mesothelioma um, in the UK, but also globally. However, um, there are some trials emerging of new immunotherapy uh, drugs on early data in a small um, group of patients of around uh, 40 to 50 patients showing that three quarters of the, those patients derived benefit. Uh, about a quarter of those patients actually had shrinkage of their mesothelioma and another 50% had stabilization of disease. So this is actually unprecedented in a small trial um, in patients with relapsed mesotheliomas. In fact, uh, one of the patients I know who uh, was accepted on that trial, that early trial two years ago, recently had a scan showing complete response to her mesothelioma. So her mesothelioma has essentially been eradicated following two years of treatment with this immunotherapy uh, drug.
that works through removing a, a natural break on the immune system. We all have this immune, therapy, immune system break, otherwise we'd all be developing allergic diseases. So we have to have something that keeps that under control. So this drug works by blocking a receptor called uh, PD-1 and PDL one and releases the immune system to fight the, the cancer. Adding this drug will basically release the break and allow the T cells, the, the white cells, to go out and fight the, the cancer, which at the moment is protected by this sort of um, force field of PDL1 protein, which is preventing the immune system from attacking the mesothelioma. This antibody drug blocks that receptor and allows the, the white cells to go and fight the mesothelioma.